All right, we're with Baba. Here are the organs you requested. Are you sure they are from the right creature? Uh, there was no mistake in that monster, but uh, you're the Baba. You tell me if I got it the right one. Yes, I can already tell. You did indeed. I was just curious to know if you'd come across another creature I've heard about. No matter. Here is your reward. I have no more hunts for you right now. You've done very well. And I hope to have more work for you soon. Thanks. So, um, what's with Corvus, anyway? You seem an odd pair. Corvus saved my life. He intervened during a violent robbery. He has been my protector ever since. Hmm. I see. More? Cupboards are full for now. So I don't need you to hunt anything at this time. Maybe later. Okay, I guess we'll go back. Can I fa oh, I can fast travel into that. Sweet. Say, where the fuck am I? It's so goddamn foggy and shit. He's one of our most dedicated men. Story book club. Let's do book club. Oh, no, no. You're siding with the enemy, Pilgrim. Someday those chickens may told. just come home. Small ones heal, big ones poison, she said. Hey, so there's this thing. This equipment is junk. Second. Frame drop skin. Uh, I really want to play this game, but it's making it difficult. Small ones heal, big ones poison. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait. What's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. I didn't even, uh, uh, never met any witches. Witch. Never met any witches. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Uh, superstition. Witchcraft is a crime. Please. Just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it. Keep that witch's poison away from him. I can him. give him an injection to stabilize him. But it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men. She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had ate or burn her eyes out instead. What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison. I guarantee it. Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it. For advice, uh... Yeah, I guess I can radio the wand. I didn't know that was an option. Wait, I, I need to check with somebody. Make it fast. Alright, hurry the fuck up. Hey, the wand, he there? He's gonna die, watch. Aiden? What's going on? Do you know anything about recluse pedals? Pedals? There was something... Wait, Frank told me once. Some were medicinal. Which ones? The small ones. The small. The, the small ones heal. That's what I remember. 
Thanks. I was afraid someone might have misled me. Aiden, what's going on? I'll tell you later. Sorry. So, what are we gonna do? Small ones. It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. I'm just gonna keep staring at him? He needs his rest. We should all okay. leave him be. I, I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. What the hell is Supply doing? Delivering lamps ain't a difficult thing. Ada. Matt? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Ada's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philidor. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out. Shop. No. Library. Here we go. You found them. My research was spot on. Here we have the complete works of William Shakespeare. His stories are some of the most often retold and adapted in history. So universal were his themes. His tragedy is were the most popular. Hmm. Are we humans drawn to tragedy? Hmm. Something to reflect upon. The Arabian Nights. Originally, 1001 Nights. A seminal collection of stories, folk tales, and songs that span a continent over several centuries. It is a melting pot of literature. Sometimes fantastical, often violent. Not unlike life in our own city. More monumental achievements secured from destruction. <laughs> Let's keep at it. I believe Thalia already has readied a new list. Some more books. Hello, Adam. I Hello, see you've brought back a collection of Shakespeare's works for Albert. Are you familiar with Romeo and Juliet? Unfortunately. I guess. Tell me. Do you believe in love? I mean, true love. <sighs> the faded love of which Shakespeare wrote. Sure. I'd like to think so. I just haven't seen a lot of it in my life. It's true. Even simple affection seems in scarce supply these days. But the hope... It's the hope that can make it possible. If not now... Then later, as the fates decree. Speaking to you, Aiden, has once again been a revelation. I look forward to your next visit. It's a welcome break for me. For you too, I hope. Here's a new list. Watch out for yourself. Talk to one. That piece of shit. Mm. You fucking her on the desk. <laughs> he is a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. 
I'm good, man. No, thank you. Yeah. Oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. I'm almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Bottled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. Huh. What a sublime present. drink to your health handsome if he drugs me and rapes me chop him to pieces <laughs> what can i say you broke down my defenses so you're still after those lamps did matt tell you why he wanted them and why he really wanted them yeah to take control of the tv tower wait he's serious is he crazy Nobody tried that for over a decade. Um, why is it dangerous? So I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Hmm. Now yeah, what do you have in mind? Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. And it's been a stalemate for over ten years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed. And the renegades attack the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Uh, I don't know, man. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Hmm. 
fucking shit. How okay. do I know you're not using me to make a move of your own? Fuck. I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolan. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Well, you know where to go. And the missing squad. No, you were doing so well, and then you gotta fucking frame it off again. Anything else doing here now? Another metro thing. Here. You know that. I got a favor to ask. You still haven't paid me back for the last time. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking game, man. Area secured. Stand by. Claire, like, I don't know why it's doing this. First, like, fuck. First 30 parts, it was perfectly fucking fine. Now it's fucking with me. Hey! Is anyone there? this bitch first. <laughs> Thing's gonna break, so let's uh, modify this bitch. Spark on it. Some venom. Did it not pass? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? Come on, buddy. Fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck me, man. What's going on? I'm so fucking confused. What's up, bitch? Shit, you do something. Do like you like calling these people to him? You're so loud. Let's just kill him real quick. Fuck you. Remaining affected. Alright. Let's search this bitch real quick. Because I don't know what the fuck is going on. Investigate. 
Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. Hmm. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on. Let's get you to a doctor. You saved us. I... Yep, I did. You're Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden? Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional, and you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? Hmm. I'm a pilgrim. I haven't been here long. A pilgrim? Did you travel far to reach the city? Quite a long way, yes. Why? Have you been to Marseille by any chance? I'm sorry. Never heard of the place. My hometown. I wonder what's become of it. And what was Marseille like? My father was a shopkeeper. He sold paints. Artists from all over the world would come especially for this one shade of Ten Hours Bleu. It was a famous shop. And my dearest memory is of how it smelt. Here, the only scent is of damp rags, or sweat, or rotting flesh. And the colors? There are only two. Day or night. But hey, you didn't come to listen to my memories. Up lamps. Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh. No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. Get going already. Tell me what you do for. Hey. Close. How far? Eh, it's just over there. Well, I can always fast travel. But I love hey, fast travel. How you doing there? Oh, great. Supply are quite a helpless bunch, it seems. What did you expect? There were ordinary people before the fall. Craftsmen, teachers, gardeners, not fighters. Shit. What's going on? Renegades. More of them. Again? That's crazy. It has to be part of something the Butcher and Walter are brewing. The <laughs> <Why now? laughs> Found your men, um, some of them at least. I'm sorry to say that they're dead. Aiden? You sure? How many? Two bodies, both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. 
Okay, I'll look for him. Blood trail. Get on with the fucking. That way. Yeah, okay. Being chased? Nope. All right. You're spitting at me, which I don't like. That's a howler right there. Okay. Let's just climb this building real quick. Out right here for a second. the time lost let's go this way because it looks like they went in here through here oh, shit this way objective updated okay search the roof I can do that Probably a renegade pretending to be. Where the fuck did he go? Okay. Ready for this? You can't keep that up. Ouch. <laughs> fuck you. Hey, oh. stop. Don't move. Are you guys all right? Me, yeah. Sebastian, not so much. Help oh, Sebastian. How is he? Pretty bad. Goddamn renegades. Don't know why there's suddenly so many of them in the center. Came at us so hard and fast. Only Seb and I managed to get away. You able to walk? I won't leave him alone. Not when he's like this. He needs a new bandage. This one's a mess. I don't have any more. Listen, did Demlin tell you about him? Oh yeah, about his brother and father? No, not that. Sebastian is an artist. Devlin promised him to take him one day to Marseille. To his father's shop. He can't die like this. Please. Uh, this then. should help. I'm sure I'll be fine. But I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hit them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps. Fucking 
good as that? Okay. Zombies. Make it. here. It's on that building. Okay. Well, I'll look for it in a second. I guess I'm not getting that airdrop before I get fucked up. Aiden? What's going on? The what? Ugh. I'm fine, but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Gotta take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Juan's your type. What? I, uh, the one? Get lost. <laughs> what was that? That was out of nowhere. Let's fucking kill this thing. Time to search this one. Oh well, that's more like it. Hey Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Clamp, yeah, my friend. Tobias told me you helped him as well. Many thanks. Tu es très débrouillard. Thanks. Whatever that means. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. They won. We secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades. Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters. Fuck me. Um. Okay. Do I have to kill that thing again? So, do not hit the... 
And is it nighttime again? It reset nighttime. You gotta be shitting me. I hate nighttime. Alright, anyway. Let's get this fucking airdrop. Next time, we will meet Juan. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And thank you for dealing with this frame drop. This massive baby frame drops with me. Only game that does it for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with it. But anyway, goodbye. <laughs>